So the first article was a, it was a best of Saturn, uh, Legend of the Fighting More Dragon, the worst of, I'm Elan joking. Dory. Well, yeah, you know that's the thing is, uh, this is. Uh, this is kind of a controversial game. It's not one that everybody likes. Uh, and when Peter does, he he does the the articles like the hashtag best of Saturn. Sometimes it's not really the best game uh, of of the Saturn's library, but he's just. Uh, I I think it started out as a showcase of the Saturn's best games, and then it just kind of turned into like this whole thing where he's just showing off all of Saturn's like obscure games and stuff like that. So sometimes I like it though. Yeah, I I personally like it. Um, I know that not everybody does. I've heard some people complain about it or or they, you know, the thing is the Saturn has so many good fighting games, right? So by comparison, some folks might be like, oh, okay, well, it's kind of shallow in terms of a fighting game, you know, but um, it's got some Honest cool stuff going for it. Yeah, honestly, I was talking to Peter about that, about this. And we should probably like maybe a small publication of like a best of Saturn, like a little, a little uh, novella sized thing mm -hmm. and just publish something like that and just have all these descriptions on it yeah that would be rad i mean there's certainly enough games there's certainly enough great games that you can make like a cool coffee table book or something like that um for real what do you guys think would you buy a book like that like a best of saturn book um yes, no maybe so <clears throat> so tell me uh, what you hell no tell me what, what you can you tell me about this game from your perspective well i actually played it a little bit uh so it's by the company Simi. Mm -hmm. which I've never heard of, so I did some Googling, and they made two games on the Saturn. Mm -hmm. The first one was Puppy Breeder, and the <laughs> second breeder. one was this. Right, and that's so bizarre. You're like, okay, <laughs> like, that, that is so, like, those are worlds apart from each other. You know, but I guess if, uh, I guess if Real Time Associates could do Bug, and then they could do Crusader No Remorse, you know, it's like, yeah. it, it's possible, like, <laughs> you know. They're definitely uh, stretching from one genre to another, but yeah, this is kind of like a Big stretch. Incidentally, you do have pets in this, not puppies, but you have dragons. You ride dragons and you fight with these dragons, and uh, it's, uh, pretty, it's a pretty fun game. It's a. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a bit. People keep saying like, I think Peter described it as fighting vipers esque, but I kind of felt there was more like Power Stone. Like Power Stone. I can, I can kind of see of how you, I can see how you can compare it to both of those. You know, in in ways. I mean, personally, I feel like I'm going to kind of be one of those people who says that it's kind of lacking in terms of actual fighting and action. Like, I just feel like it's kind yeah. of slow and, and clunky. Um, but I feel like it's a feast for the eyes, you know? It's definitely, in terms of the Saturn, textures are great. You know, 3D modeling is is great. Um, you know, it's got it's got cool music. It's got, it's got like, this high, these high-resolution menus that I think are noteworthy. Um, I think it's even got like a there's a there's a cheat where you can get it into English like full English menus full oh. English text and voicing there's actually uh, there's actually English voiceovers so um, really I did not know about that yeah and so somebody out there did like a uh, released like a forced patch one, one of those forced patches where they basically just um, they did this with a couple of games. I think they did it with Vampire Savior too, where they they made made it sound like it was like this big release. You know, you know the group that I'm mm -hmm. talking about. They're like, we're releasing this game. Oh, the ones that just can't stop. Right. Well, they were like, okay, we're releasing this game, and uh, it's in English, and and every and a lot of folks were just like, well, it already has an option to go to English in the menu. You know, and they're like, yeah, well, we just patched it so that it it forces it in English, and they're like, well, that that's not better because now you don't have a choice, right? It's like. You just get English, um, but I mean, I guess it kind of simulates having the game in English. But technically, yeah, this game supports both Japanese dialogue, uh, like voice dialogue and text. And there is a patch out there that exists that just basically forces it into English. Um, and can can you actually put this on the menu or do you, for this game specifically, or do you have to actually like hack it? I believe in this game there is a cheat or sorry there is a code that you can put in okay. like, an, like an, a code that unlocks the english menus and the dialogue and stuff mm. somebody please correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that's how it works and then it, it usually is and so then they just frankly, figured out how to patch it and just joking. make it so that it loads up english every time so if you search on the high seas you will find you might be able to find that out there if you're interested in just having a full full stop english version of this game but but there you go yeah. 
But all in all, I think it was a really fun game for what I played of it. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I think it feels a lot more like Power Stone than Fighting Vipers. And right. honestly, like the vibe of it that I got, I wouldn't be surprised if the people from from uh, Psymate went over to Sega and did Power Stone afterwards. It's possible. But it was, dro yeah, it it was dropped in 99, so it's probably not possible, actually. Yeah, yeah no, they would have been working me. on... I'm yeah i see what you're saying though you're saying it, it it feels like uh like it's related on a spiritual level or something you know the the interesting thing too is that uh i would probably put this game i would lump this game together into a group of fighters on the saturn uh that it would almost be like b fighters you know or like bizarre b for bizarre fighters you know like astra superstars uh like Sun fighters sunsoft the game pretty fighters too yeah like just strange fighters like there's some really because you know like all the capcom fighters are really solid for the most part yeah um give or take um they all succeeded at like bringing the arcade thing home snk of course did a great job on the saturn uh you've got some like really heavy hitter fighters but then you've got those weird ones like waka waka uh waku waku seven you've got astro legit, though. it's legit it is legit i don't deny that but you have to you can't also deny that it's not kind of bizarre right like galaxy fight waku waku 7 astro super sars elan dory like if you were curating a collection of fighters i'd probably put those into a folder together so it was like if i had a friend over and i was like okay we played some street fighter now let me show you some weird shit <laughs> you know that, weird that japan volume 2 am I exactly right? right that's kind of where i would put this and um it's not bad. It's just different for sure. You know, I I guess you can knock your your opponent off their dragon, you know, and then like continue to do damage on them and stuff like that. So, um, it's it, the gameplay is varied, and I am uh, impressed by like the high resolution mode. Other than that, there's not yeah, a whole it, lot it, more I can say about it. Yeah, this also was released on the the STV board. So oh, okay. So if you want to get it for the arcade, you could play it on the arcade board. It seems very arcadey, so it would fit pretty well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know if sure. I'd sit down and waste quarters on it though, but that's just me. But I can see it as being one of those things that attracts attracts uh, quarters, at least to start, you know. And once exactly. people kind of get what it's all and about, once you realize it's complete garbage, <laughs> yeah. you wasted your time. I don't know. I feel bad. I don't want to go there. Like I wouldn't go so far as to call it garbage, but it's just you know, it's not going to be in my top no, ten. I'm only playing. It wouldn't even be. It wouldn't make my top ten fighters on the Saturn, if I'm being honest. You know. All, all I'm saying is, if I put quarters into the machine to play this, I don't think I'd be happy. 